Hey everyone, I'm in Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox Series X and here I want to talk about the marketplace and show you how you can get extra content onto your installed version. So although you normally update your stuff inside uh, you know, the normal Xbox store, um, in, in Microsoft Flight Sim, if you want to add extra content, you've got to go to the marketplace. So you do this with the right button. So you see the top tabs, it says welcome up the top left. Hit the right button twice and you'll go over to marketplace. And then there's all sorts of stuff you can do here. You can get all loads of different stuff here. So there's various things you can add for quite a bit of money or not a lot of money or for free. So let's go through some of the different things you can do. First of all, let's have a little look at the catalog and then I'll show you how to get some free content in a minute. That's pretty cool. So in the full catalog, I'll give you some highlights of new stuff that's, that's you know, basically being added. So you can see here, Key West International Airport you have, is yours for £5.79. Um, there's some stuff that's free, which we're going to go through in a minute. But what I want to show you here is on the filters, you can change things like the category. So if you're interested more in, for example, say aircraft, we could go down to here. I'm using the right stick to browse uh, the right bar, and then the left stick is to move the cursor. So I click on A on the aircraft, and then I can see the different aircraft that are available to me to buy. So it's not loads in here at the minute. I'm assuming this will increase over time, but there's some quite cool stuff. Check that out, a Eurofighter Typhoon. That's a pretty cool plane. Uh, Tomahawk, a Spitfire. Yes, but so the price is still quite chunky on some of these. So Spitfire, £22.49, but let's have a little look at it. So it's only got 3.4 out of five by the 380 people who have reviewed it. Um, but you can see all the different things it says, detailed CAD model, 3D cockpit, built from heritage flight simulations, blah, blah, blah. Lots of information on it. It does look beautiful, look at that. So you get a good idea of what this will look like before you actually purchase it. Let's have a little look. Look at that, wow. That does look good, doesn't it? Um, so, you know, aside from going to fly a real Spitfire, this, I suppose this is the closest you're gonna get. Uh, and that does look very pretty. So you can be flying around in a Spitfire if you like, and uh, if you wanna part with your or was it 22 pounds or something? Um, so I've just hit B to go back there and we'll have a little look at some of the other stuff you can get. So let's have a little look at landmarks, what we got here. Nothing, brilliant. Living world, regional airport environments, airport scenery, got anything there? Ah, Switzerland mesh scenery for five pounds 79, New Zealand mesh scenery. Let's have a little look at that. And then I'm gonna show you free stuff. Right, let's just see what this is. Ah, so quite pretty, isn't it? Let's have a little look. So obviously the standard stuff is pretty cool, but this is just gonna add a bit of nice detail for you in those regions. So quite of interest if you're, you know, either live in that region, I suppose, or you're very interested in seeing that region a bit more detailed. Um, you can invest in it. So I hit B to go back. Now the thing I want to show you, free. I said there's some cool free stuff and there is some cool free stuff. So if you go to free and click click the A button. Um, the thing I want to point out are these world updates, which are all free. So there's Japan, um, there's UK that I've installed, USA. Uh, there's also France, Belgium, Netherlands. So you can see these are the two that I've done so far, USA and United Kingdom. Um, so for example, I'm in the UK uh, and I'll just show you the sort of stuff this does. It adds some beautiful detail like you're seeing here in the map. So it just adds extra, extra uh, niceness all over the place. Check all this, beautiful bridges, and it's free. So why would you not? Check those castles, very cool. Um, so what I'm gonna show you lastly is just how you then get these things and install them on your system. So if we go back, so we could do any of these things here. Now, the um, what I'm gonna do is download this plane because the world updates, as you'd expect, are fairly large, so about sort of five to 10 gigs, so it'll take a while. So let's have a little look at this plane and see if we can add this to our system. So I will get and download. So this is only 355 megabytes, so that's cool. That's gonna be nice and quick. So you can either stay on this one here or download in the in the background, but where you then go is to your content manager. So it's down the bottom, you see it says X, go to content manager, so I'll go there. And then this shows you what's not installed, what's downloading, etc. So I've got this, it says it's not installed, it's downloading. So now it's downloaded. So that'll take a little while longer if you're downloading things like the world uh, update packs. Um, it says it's not installed at the minute because it's downloading, but I think it'll then just install automatically. So we'll just wait for a minute and see what it does. 
up to date. So it should be there. So if we have a little look at installed, um, we should see somewhere in here that they're playing. I can't remember what it was called now. Um, so all of your content will show in here what you've got, all the various different things. Right, so let's see if it's there. So what was it called? An Orbis Flying Eye Hospital. So we'll come back out of here and we'll go to the world map and we'll have a little look at our planes to see if it's sitting in there. There it is. So I can now fly using that plane that I've just downloaded and it adds extra information for me. So we could have a little look at it. There it is. Um, and yeah, we can fly around with that. Hopefully that little tutorial was useful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Have a little look at the rest of my channel. And if there's anything called Microsoft Flight Simulator that's confusing you, let me know and I'll do my best to help with a little tutorial if I've not got one already. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully that was good. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. Likes, comments are also much appreciated. Thanks so much.